In the ring, big baby, stylistically, mm. what is it that he does that you can exploit? Or do you want to keep that? Um, he thinks he think he can be Mike Tyson at times. You know, I've seen him many times as combinations. You know, he, he tries to be Mike Tyson. He's very post, post in his beginning of his fights. Um, he takes a lot of shots in the beginning of his fights. And he tries to wear guys down to land big combinations. If you look at any one of his real good knockouts, guys were tired when he knocked them out. Big baby gonna get tired. Now, I, I always I always say that, you know, uh, you have the highest work rate mm -hmm. in the heavyweight division, mm -hmm. and you're probably the biggest heavyweight mm -hmm. in the division Correct. as far as this, you know, um, mass, right? Correct. Do, and he, we've seen him fade in the second half of fashion. Yeah, you right. think that's going to, you looking to drive Every him fight, in the deep It don't, matter, it don't matter what PDC take or whatever he's going to take, it ain't going to work for him. It's something that's called heart. And you can't take no vitamins and go sub two for that. Either you're born with a gas tank, you're not born with a gas tank. You run a million miles, it ain't gonna happen. And sometimes when sometimes when they move heavyweights fast, it don't give them a time for their for their lungs to 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 what's the word I'm talking about? Get time for their lungs to develop to be a 12 round fighter. He hasn't really gone 12 rounds that many times. I'm trying to get guys like knockout. So sometimes I used to hear my Harry say, You can't knock everybody out. And I take it as a gift because it's like Okay, I can't knock him out, but I could box for 12 rounds. And it doesn't hurt my ego that I couldn't knock him out. I look at him, I'm like, damn, I had him hurt four times. I ain't see it that time. That's part of boxing. I mean, Frost was one of the greatest fighters ever. Didn't have crazy knockout power, but if you put enough combinations together, you get him out of there. And I have one punch knockout power, but if you look at the way I throw my punches sometimes, I'm just touching, touching the person, hit him with a good shot, get him out of there. And that's boxing. You can't throw power on everything. That's, that's how you small fighters win. You think you're gonna feel a lot of pressure coming oh, up? Oh, come the on, man. Come on, baby. Come on. You know this already. You're gonna feel pressure in the ring, man. Look at every fighter that's, he's been backed up by every fighter he's ever fought. Even Charles Martin backed him up a little bit. And Charles Martin, quick. Carlos Takam, 6'1", 230 pounds, back him up. Pavekin, 6'2", 230 pounds, back him up. Everybody backs him up. Now you think a 300-pound man that's never been dropped, hurt, or stopped is not going to back him up and throw more punches? You know what I mean? I'm the underdog because he's popular. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Look at the stats. Exactly. Look at the numbers. Look at the punch, the punch output, the people that I fought before he won the heavyweight championship. Everybody, everybody don't look at Kishko's age. They don't look at Pavekin's age. The only decent person he's really fought that was really up to it was Joseph Paul. A lot of people called out Joseph Paul before that he won. Everybody else was past Journey McCarlos to come. We all knew that Dominic Brazil wasn't for no title shot. He was an undefeated American. Charles Martin took the money. Charles Martin took me. I went over there for the money. The money was good. And, you know, it just happened. It meant that I just kind of clocked out. It is what it is. And I ain't going to clock out. Now, we saw Tyson Fury get a $100 million contract yesterday. $80 million. What, $80 million pounds translate to $100 million hour money? Oh, shit. Yeah. That's a good math. Uh, I didn't uh, think about uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then we got, uh, obviously, he got, Joshua got $100 million from uh, Matchroom. Uh -huh. This is the fight to get your $100 million after this? Oh, yeah, this? by far. Because, listen, like I said before, I got to knock him out two, pound, two times, and then my, my contract negotiates. And I'm coming for all the marbles on the table. You know, I'm from all over the table. But like I said, it's, it's, we always knew the money was going to come. I never really thought about the money coming up the rankings. I said, I put myself in position. You know, my, and even say back to my trainer, Harry always said, I used to go chase after this and chase after promotions. I want to get a fight. And Harry said, man, it's staying in the gym and work. When they want you, they're going to come after you. And what I told you a month ago, AJ need me more than I mean. Let me kiss my ass. Look what happened. Here we go. But supposedly I'm the underdog. Supposedly I don't sell no tickets. Supposedly I don't do this. But you know, I'm, I'm a great looking guy. I'm a great talk, and I'm backing up in the mix. So, that's what's up. So, is, the goal, is the goal for you to stop, Josh? Thank you, Mama. Yeah, the main thing is get the brace over, knock him out, put him on his head. Hurt his confidence like he's bringing her to the <laughs> Point blank, period. So, what is the game plan against Josh? What do you expect to do? Be a warrior, man. Be a fucking warrior, man. Fighting, fighting a war is unpredictable. No, not everybody's game plan always works. So, you're going to have to adjust a little my main thing is mentality and mind strength. Be a fucking warrior. That's it. So the goal for you in the summertime, when the during the DAZN launch, you wanted this fight. Did you expect it yeah, to get it so yeah, soon? Yeah, I thought it was going to be September. Okay. I thought it was going to be September because I thought Dylan White was going to get it first in April, and that would be September. I didn't think it was going to let uh, uh, Dylan White slip through his feet because he's the money. He wanted Dylan White fight. But what happened was he didn't think the zone was going to come over with the extra money for the funding, and his own promoter cut a check too to get the rest of the money to have that fight happen. So I'm trying to say, so when he was, he was shocked when he said, oh, shit, they got the money for the fight. Okay, we guess we're going to America. And we going to tell by his comments level. It's something totally different when you face somebody like me. That's going to bring it to you.